Hi everyone, welcome again to another session of uh, our Innovation Week 2022, the second session of this Innovation uh, Week that we've done. Um, I would like to welcome um, a good friend of mine, Ezequiel Skinka Reyes, who is part of um, RV Fresh Foods. It's one of the latest um, customers at Hyperbaric and has been working hard on developing premium uh, products. Welcome, Mr. Hill. He's going to talk about uh, his company and what they're doing on developing premium quality products. Um, I'm going to get started with my presentation. As I said, we're going to talk about um, uh, premium quality guacamole and avocado products using HVP. I'm just going to start my presentation right now and we're going to kick it off. Right? One second. There we go. All right. So we're going to talk about uh, first about who we are. So we are um, hyperbaric, as you as you know. Uh, our company um, it's got different divisions and under the high pressure processing division we designed manufacture and commercialized a high pressure processing equipment since 1999 and we are very fortunate to have around 60 percent market share and over 300 uh, plus units installed worldwide we have over 20 years of experience in the hdp field and in the high pressure processing arena as well just a little bit uh, uh over 50 million euros of turnover and 120 plus uh, members uh, are part of um, this group of talented people that um, forms Hyperbaric. And we have um, pretty much done around 20 projects with uh, in R&D, totaling 80 million euros. So this is a, a little bit under 1 million every, every year that we invest in R&D. We have two locations, one, the headquarters in Spain. There are three big buildings uh, over 7.4 acres where we design, manufacture, and test um, high pressure processing units and other pressure technologies. We also have uh, another location here in Miami where we are located. We have a commercial after sales and support testing facility on a, a thousand square meters. We have two pilot plants, one is in Burgos and the other one here in Miami. We have uh, machines so customers can come and test their products uh, free of charge. We have also experts from our um, our applications team who are always ready and willing to help companies develop um, their products. Um, around the world, we have also different delegations and small offices. As I said, we have our company, our headquarters in Spain. We also have the office here in Miami, Florida. We have a small office uh, of support office and technical office in, in Mexico. We also have another office in Singapore and a technical office in Oceania. We cover the world with this, uh, with all these offices. Now let's talk about high pressure processing technology. So what is HPP? As some of you uh, already know, high pressure processing is a non-thermal food preservation technology that uses uh, three elements, basically cold water, high pressure, and time to inactivate uh, food pa foodborne pathogens and spoiling microorganisms with minimal effects on organoleptic and sensory um, uh, profile of foods. Um, essentially, it's a very common use uh, or commonly used in, in the avocado industry. Now, I'm gonna talk about uh, what's a typical day on, on the avocado production process, uh, and this is a, a nice schematic from a company called Wakamodoli, who was very kind to share this with us. Um, so basically, avocados are, first of all, they're um, harvested from crops in, in different parts of the world on the, on the avocado producing countries. Then the, the, the avocados are uh, putting crates and then they're so, selected and then they go on um, a, a washing station. Once they're washed, they go to the to the ripening uh, rooms. Once they arrive, they have to chill. They have to be cooled down. Otherwise, they um, they continue ripening. So one thing that avocado does is that as soon as they are picked from the tree, they start ripening. So there's a race against time to get them um, 
to the factory before they arrive. Once they are they arrive, they are selected. The ones, the good ones, uh, are headed to the to the processing facility where they are uh, going to be turned into guacamole. The other ones are discarded. Once they they go into the processing room, they get, they enter into the magic box, uh, where they are turned uh, into um, you know uh, fresh guacamole. So the seeds and the skins are removed. Then the avocados are pulped. Um, once they are pulled, they are uh, go, they go into a big uh, bats or mixers where uh, ingredients are added depending on the recipes. Uh, and then once they are uh, once they're mixed, they are going to pouches or trays or pots or tops or pails, and then they go into a weighing station. Once they weigh, they're they're probably sealed. Once they're sealed, a very important uh, part of the process is going under a metal detector where there's a piece of metal derived from the machinery uh, gets detected and if there's nothing that they won't get discarded if so then they, they will get checked out uh once they are sealed and metal detected they go undergo into the high pressure processing system this is a six um to eight minute um process and it's fairly quickly once they uh get out of the hpp unit then they will get into a chiller or a freezer once they are frozen or refrigerated they go into boxes then they get palletized then stored and then distributed across the world fairly easy um now let me um talk about how does the hpp unit work so maybe some of you know already uh but for those who don't i'm gonna show what happens when the product goes inside so we typically put the products into a basket. Um, um, once uh, sealed, they go into these blue baskets. Um, and then the product goes basically into the HPP unit. So uh, the product gets pushed inside a vessel. The vessel then moves into what we call the pressure position. Then we have two plugs going on each end of the vessel. And then we start filling the chamber with water. Once the chamber is flooded, uh, then we put the plugs on the way in, and then behind those plugs we have two massive wedges that prevent the plug from escaping uh, as we put more pressure into the unit. Once uh, the, the, um, the plug is inside and the machine is in pressure position, we start pumping more water into the HPP unit. Uh, we do this by a means of intensifiers. These intensifiers, basically what they do is a, a two-stroke pump that um, pushes water inside the, the machine, uh, as you can see on the schematic. Uh, this is a hydraulic pump that basically every time it pulls out, draws water, and then as it pushes, the water goes into um, the system through a, through a series of pipes and then inside the chamber. Once we reach the desired pressure, in this case, 6,000 uh, megapascals, uh, sorry, 6,000 uh, bar, then cert uh, during a certain time of, uh, uh, then we, we go into the, um, the, into the discharge mode, the machine opens up, and then more product going in, until it goes inside and pushes the product that is already triggered. And it's as simple, as simple as that. Now, let me talk about um, a little bit of, of the process avocado market overview, where well, we're going to talk uh, a little bit of what uh, what happens with the process avocado industry. Uh, as you can see, the, the fresh avocado consumption has grown significantly uh, compared to the process avocado consumption. So in 1989, uh, people used to consume only 1.47 pounds of avocado per capita, whereas in 2019 it's eight pounds uh, per capita. On the process side of things, uh, 1989, uh, the people only used to eat 0.01 pounds per capita, whereas in 2019 it's uh, uh, 75, 0.75 pounds per capita. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of information about uh, about um, the processed avocado industry. The, the, the attention has been uh, focused more on the demand for uh, for fresh avocados, 
and that's one of the major reasons why why there is a gap in knowledge on or in in a gap on on, on realistic um, statistics in avocado process industry. However, uh, there is a very uh, important story to be told on process uh, avocados because uh, they have gained a lot of attention over time. Um, avocados, as you know, have evolved from a seasonal uh, specialty to a, a pretty much a round staple in both supermarkets and and, and also produce aisles of, of, of in consumer diets as well. Um, and now, what I'm going to talk about uh, is the, how the how the growth in process avocado imports has gone up from 1989 through 2019. So as you can see, the, the demand was slow but steady uh, throughout you know, 2016, basically. And it wasn't until 2016 when it really started to, uh, to take on. Um, as you can see, well, process avocado imports first exceeded the 50 million mark in, in around 2000. Or 2000, and it took another 11 years uh, to grow um, another 100, uh, pretty much another 100 million. And then uh, there was, you know, basically an explosion in, 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 in growth at the beginning of 2017. And it took about uh, only about three more years to add another, you know, 100 million more uh, uh, pounds of processed product. And this is basically uh, similar to what happened to our technology. As you can see, this is the evolution of install capacity in the market. Uh, as you can see, before 2001, uh, it took us about nine years to achieve the first 100 machines, uh, whereas uh, the, the, the other 100 only took us four years, and the other 100 took us two and a half years. And the demand is still um, growing steadily. Um, there's uh, around uh, 500 plus machines installed around the world um, uh, in, in different areas, but uh, it is very similar to, both charts are very similar in terms of, of growth. Now, um, I'm gonna, I wanna talk about the process avocado industry. Uh, it is estimated that there's around 35 HPP avocado processing plants that operate in Mexico using HPP. In another 20 to 25 around the world, world and uh, using both avocado and non avocado producing countries. So, countries that are that not necessarily have avocado, they, they do produce uh, avocado products by importing fresh, uh, fresh fruit. It is more expensive, but uh, there's a market for it, um, and there's company there's countries doing, doing that. During 2011 to 2014, Mexico accounted for pretty much 93 percent uh, of the U.S. process avocado products, followed by Peru by a distant 4.9. Um, however, however, during 2019, Peru's share declined just to 1.1 percent. Um, then, typically, on the fresh side of things, the 35 percent. Uh, 35% and, and on the fresh fruit, 35% uh, are uh, of sales in avocado and fresh avocado. Um, fresh avocados are, are retail, whereas in 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 uh, in, uh, in processed avocado, 70% are food service and 35% is it's it's retail. Um, the next slide basically talks about. Um, how high pressure, um, uh, high pressure processing of avocados has fueled growth. Um, as uh, avocado processing has traditionally approached a number of food safety risks, uh, since some process of minimal process ready to eat avocados have a relatively high risk of microbial contamination uh, from pathogens such as, such as Salmonella, E. coli, and Listeria. As you know, uh, back in the day, there were some traditional approaches um, um, to assure safe to eat avocado products, uh, and these were used in, in, the late, in early 90, uh, 1990s. Um, unfortunately, for, for these approaches had to do with uh, adding um, uh, uh, preservatives and predominantly food acids that used to taint that, that uh, flavor of avocado. Another way of reducing uh, ready to eat uh, problems with pathogens was the use of heat uh, and heat 
and avocado are pretty much two things that don't go with each other. Um, heat pasteurization tends to reduce avocado quality, uh, and um, and also, as I said, um, additives and preservatives used to change the flavor of the profile of, of avocado. And due to these limitations back in the day, processed avocados were just as, uh, always regarded as a clearly inferior product uh, in the food and in the food industry. Um, but it wasn't until you know um, 1996 when when Companies start applying high pressure, and the story changed. Um, as you can, as you know, uh, with the coronavirus pandemic, um, there were some challenges. Uh, the first quarter of 2020, process of avocado imports increased 10.6 from 61.78 million pounds, and in 2019 to 68.5 million pounds, achieving an all-time high. When the way coronavirus uh, shut down the second quarter, volumes decreased 13.9 from 54 uh, down in 2019 down to 46 in 2020. Um, this will likely go up again as you know uh, as the industry starts to recover and more people is going out. Uh, as you know, avocado is a very famous ingredient in most restaurants. Um, uh, processed avocado imports and consumptions are likely to uh, fully recover until the, the epidemic is controlled, and it will, as I said, it will, it will, it will grow again. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about some what facts. Um, so, the first quarter of 2020, processed avocado imports increased 10.6 uh, percent, and it went from 61.8 million pounds in 2019 to 68.5 million achieving an all-time high. Um, global um, guacamole market, it is estimated to be worth about 1.1 billion with a compound annual growth rate of 7.6 by, 7 by 2027. And uh, there are over seven, uh, 70 HPP units using in the industry to make avocado-based products. This is uh, roughly around 16,000 liters in capacity and over 70% of the total use in the industry of high pressure. Uh, one of the other interesting facts is that guacamole is a leading cause for double dipping. Yes, don't do it. How does HPP uh, add value to your products? Well, basically you can get a shelf life extension. So guacamole can go from three days uh, untreated uh, uh, and can go that fairly quickly to 85 to 95 days with HPP. Most Companies use around six to days shelf life, which is enough to move the product around. Uh, but there's uh, some companies that can use up to 95 days of, uh, of, um, of shelf life refrigerated with HPP. Also, as mentioned previously, food safety is another uh, another way of adding value to their to your uh, product. Food safety uh, inactivates. Pathogens such as Listeria coli and Salmonella. We also help um, adding value by achieving true clean label and 100% natural products. And also helps companies like RB to do a, a vertical integration. So companies integrating processing into their fresh operations are able to maximize profits because um, uh, fruit that otherwise would end up being devalued in the market, uh, it actually uh, goes into a factory where it is um, uh, turned into high value added product. So that helps the, the bottom line of companies. But also HPP minimizes the risk of shrinkage. Once you have, when you have a clear shelf life, you can pretty much uh, know exactly how long your products are going to last. So you will try to move them and reduce the shrinkage in, in the trade. Also, with uh, uh, with the, the the high pressure being able to kill um, uh, pathogens, you you minimize your recalls basically to zero, uh, protecting and, and minimizing brand exposure. It is also um, uh, the best ally in fresh operations. Um, and, and the reason why it is a, a, an ally in, in fresh operations is that in countries where products are not known, this is um, processed product is the best way to introduce avocado to, 
countries where avocado is not existent or there's not a culture. Avoca French avocados are always hard to understand. They're hard to write. People don't understand how, you know, how to ripe it is a, a, a um, hidden science, how to, how to ripen avocado properly. The stores do a pretty good job, but there's a small window uh, that you need to, to, to be at to be able to get an avocado in perfect condition. So that's why um, uh, processed avocados are ready to serve. It's an avocado ready to go when you need it, at the time when, uh, when, when you want it. And that helps a lot that you can always on a piece of uh, cardboard, tell a story, tell a story about avocados, tell a story about your product uh, and it's easier and it's a good ally to get fresh product into the market. It also helps with productivity. Um, you know, uh, with the shelf life extension, this uh, high pressure allows companies to plan uh, their production and the sales uh, plans efficiently. And also with exports, HPP products or processed products help reducing all the complexities that are during shipping compared to fresh food. Uh, fresh fruit, uh, HPP treated products are not subjected to quarantine withholding periods, and they're uh, as they don't carry pests. Um, now we're going to talk about the FDA. Uh, as you know, FDA does a lot of. Uh, testing what, at the border on products that are imported from other parts of the world. Well, there was a, a summer report in processed avocado and guacamole products uh, for years 2017, 2019. Uh, and it reports that in all this, in this study, uh, uh, listeria was found in 17% in seven, of avocado fruit cream, which is common uh, because uh, it's a uh, Listeria is a natural occurring pathogen in soil, and therefore uh, it, it may appear in avocados from time to time. The FDA collected 80, um, 887 samples of imported and domestic products from November 2017 uh, to September 2019. Also, uh, something remarkable there was that pathogens were not detected in avocado or the rye products it identified samples uh, under HPP. So as you can see here on, on uh, percentage of uh, pathogen prevalence, prevalence uh, in raw it was detected and HPP uh, was not detected. It is, it is proven and it's accepted by, accepted by the FDA that HPP does kill pathogens. Um, now I'm most all, um, I'm also done, I'm about to get done. Uh, another thing that I wanna talk about um, it's about uh, a company, uh, an industry, uh, an avocado industry as a whole has been able to create circular economy and sustainability. Um, and that's a, a good, uh, successful backstory. Um, this is something that um, the industry has been able to do in Mexico. Um, there's a company that has been able to crack the code on, on avocado seal and uh, avocado seed. They were able to get a biodegradable uh, plastic made of a polymer that is extracted from, from the avocado seed. And this is a great story about circular economy and uh, which is very important uh, in these days. So industries can change, uh, you know, their minds from wasteful to mindful. So that's a great story, and, and I hope uh, a lot of industries adopt this um, um, this circular economy and, and mind, mindset and sustain, sustainability mindset as well, so, so they can improve for the, the better of the world. And that's it for me. Uh, now um, I'd like to thank you guys for uh, for um, uh, attending uh, the presentation. Now I'm going to hand over. Um, the, the rings to my good friend Ezekiel, who's going to talk about RB and his journey on high pressure processing. Thank you, Rob. Uh, thank you, number uh, number one. Thank you for the opportunity for having us here in this um, innovation sessions, innovation week. Uh, for me, it's an honor to represent all my peers at RB Fresh Foods the newest and largest uh, process avocado facility in Latin America, as well as my team, RV Aguacates, which is the 
fresh avocado packing house, which by the way, let me congratulate them because this is the second week that we claim number one top exporter of uh, avocados from Mexico to the US. Anyways, I uh, would like to start presenting uh, a little bit of who we are. Um, they say that a uh, picture is worth uh, a thousand words. In this case, uh, a picture or a video is worth uh, a thousand words. And I would like you to share uh, this um, company presentation with you. We owe the quality of our products to the land, a land of magnificent avocados and extraordinary people. On our soil, water flows abundantly and the volcanoes enrich it with nutrients and minerals that allow us to harvest a very flavorful and creamy avocado. And that is why Uruapan Michoacan is considered to be the avocado capital of the world. RV Fresh Foods is proud to be a family owned company with a global and transcendent vision. We have been in avocado industry for more than 40 years, packing and distributing the world's best avocados. Based on trust, we have built partnerships with a large base of loyal and committed growers who supply us year round with the best of their orchards. Here, we are always in season. From tree to table at RV Fresh Foods, we develop and provide avocado products based on our most valuable principles, freshness and quality. With a state-of-the-art facility equipped with the world's top leading technology, we deeply take care of every single detail to guarantee freshness on every single bite. We hand scooped our avocados. We owe our success to our people, our partners. We believe in human development and continuous improvement in loyal and good practices, which are translated into the way we do business. By working together with both our client and R&D department, we provide a solution for every different need in the best possible way, from an avocado pulp to a new guacamole recipe or even IQF products, creating valued long-term business partnerships. Through our high pressure process, we guarantee safe products along with an extended shelf life, maintaining all its natural properties and flavors without the need to add any preservative or artificial ingredient. We are committed with the quality and the highest standards of food safety. Our strict quality controls provide and guarantee safe and legal products that meets all the requirements of certifications such as BRC, kosher, non-GMO, and organic. We believe in strong and valuable partnerships with our growers, our customers, and our people. And every day we all live by our promise that quality is our best business plan. And that's exactly right. Uh, quality is our best business plan. Quality in what we do. Quality in what we promise to our customers, which is uh, food safety, high quality, great flavor, great experience. Um, and let me talk a little bit of this picture that you're looking at. Uh, on your right hand, you see our RV Aguacates facility, which has been uh, around for, well, not that facility, but the company for more than 40 years. You know, we breathe, we sleep, uh, we dream uh, avocados, um, and that's our expertise. And just across the street, you will see the newest and largest uh, processed avocado facility, RV Fresh Foods, um, which we are very proud to, to, to bring the, the, our, our high quality products to the, to the U.S. market. Who we are? We are a private company, family owned company that values you know, long-term partnerships. They have developed, we have developed long-term partnerships with our growers to ensure quality, consistency, and the way we want uh, things done. And we create long-term partnerships with our customers. We are avocado experts. Our aim is to ensure 100% service level to our customers, 100% fill rates, and quick reaction to demand surge. We are a nimble organization that can react quickly to any change in the, in the demand signal. We follow weekly our field prices and our market prices 
and we share this information with our customers, currently active or not, whether they purchase or not from RV Fresh Foods or RV Aguacates, we share this information with our customers because we understand that the better decisions in the industry we take, it's in benefit of all, with, of all of us. And this is an example of the things we share every week um, to comment and to exchange ideas with, uh, with everyone in the avocado industry. A little bit of our products. Um, we have, of, of course, uh, products that can you know, be suitable for the food service or industry and the retail channel and club. Uh, in this case, we're looking at the, our IQF offerings. It's uh, IQF pulp, IQF halves, and IQF dices in a number of formats, uh, because at the end of the day, RV Fresh Foods tailors the product to the needs of the customer. So you can see the different, the wide ranges of presentations that we can work with you. In terms of the retail, well, the, the, the traditional, the typical uh, eight ounce, the 16 ounce, the 12 ounce, and now gaining a lot of traction, the two, the two ounce cup, which obviously ensures individual portions. Um, the nutritionals are great. It's a great product. It's a very practical uh, product that uh, customers are uh, putting uh, uh, th their vote of uh, confidence to these two ounces uh, cups. Obviously, the, the, the trays that we can also work and customize for our customers. And worth on worth mentioning that uh, all these products that you saw on the retail are HPP treated, which all the benefits that, uh, that the customer obtains, um, as, as uh, Rob explained. So we are RB Fresh Foods, um, an expert in private label, a tailor in private label, but we also have uh, our, our brands, Wack On and Extra, Wacon dedicated exclusively to avocado products, uh, guacamole mainly, and Extra, which is our brand that uh, is intended to carry additional products like salsas and picos de gallo with uh, large chunks of avocado, which is a great innovation. We're really happy to start uh, accessing the market with, with this offering. Our operations, well, we have two lines of um, HPP, process avocado and one line for IQF. So you can see this is one of the things that differentiates us amongst many things. Uh, our hand scoop avocados, 100% hand scoop avocados, which ensures great taste and great texture. Then you can see, you can see at, uh, a few pictures of our processing line. This is one of the the lines that does the, the HPP, you know, hand scoop, it goes to the, uh, the mixer. And that allows us to really create new um, products that could be at the end of the day relevant to our customers and to the consumers which is the most important, you know? Uh, a little bit of uh, examples that we have played. I have to mention that we have the best R&D team, uh, well, the best, the best processing avocado team. And uh, despite being new or the newest and largest plant, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, we're not experienced. We have a ton of experience in each and every person, in each and every position in, in our lines that makes us a, uh, a very unique and, and competitive um, company. Again, uh, and going back to the, uh, to the innovation, a little bit of our salads that we have uh, developed that we're playing with. And um, hopefully, you know, some of these concepts can resonate with, uh, with our customers and consumers as well. Uh, a little bit of our brand, uh, the Extra, this is an avocado spread that has really uh, nothing, just uh, a little bit of salt, lime, and uh, it's an avocado spread. 
uh, it has been proven a, a phenomenal phenomenal SKU where, where, where we have launched it and we hope uh, to continue growing this this segment because at the end of the day it's the co the consumers that are enjoying these high quality products so we say you walk our world and hope you enjoy this presentation that at the end of the day all the things that i that we talked about cannot be possible with the with the partnership with uh with hyperbaric and the tremendous team led by by Trof peregrina thank you very much and we hope to hearing from you soon